An Introduction to Apache Pig, Lesson 2, Pig Relational Operators. Pig Relational Operators. After completing this lesson, you should be able to list the relational operators used in Pig. Use the filter operator to remove unneeded data. Use the order by operator to sort your data. Group tuples that have the same group key. Use the for each operator to generate new tuples. Explain how to flatten your data. And describe dereferencing operators. Filter and order by. The filter operator selects tuples from a relation based upon a specified criteria. For example, if we had a relation called data, which has a field called pub year, then b equal filter data by pub year equal 2003 would return those tuples where the value of pub year is equal to 2003. The order by operator sorts a relation on one or more fields. If the relation data has a field called author, then b equal order data by author ASC would sort the tuples in the relation data in ascending sequence by author. To sort in descending sequence you would specify DESC. Also multiple comma separated fields may be specified each specifying their own sort sequence. Group. The group operator groups together tuples that have the same group key. The group key can be based upon a single field in the tuple or multiple fields. If the group key consists of multiple fields, then they are enclosed in parentheses. The group operator emits a relation that contains one tuple per group. This tuple consists of two fields. The first field always has a name called group. Now don't get this confused with the name of the operator. That field contains the value of the group key. The second field takes the name of the original relation that was grouped. <clears throat> group example. Here we have a relation called data that has four tuples. The schema for the relation indicates that there are three fields with names of F1, F2, and F3. Dumping data gives a tuple with values 1, 2, 3, a second tuple with values of 4, 5, 6, a third tuple with values of 7, 8, 9, and a fourth tuple with values of 4, 3, 2. If we create a new relation, GRP, which is a grouping of data using the F1 field, we would then get a tuple, the value of 1, comma, and then a bag with the previous tuple in it with values 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. The second tuple would have a value of 4, comma, and then a bag which contains two tuples. Tuples with values of 4, comma, 5, comma, 6, and 4, comma, 3, comma, 2. The third tuple created will have a value of 7, comma, and then a bag that contains the tuple 
with a value of 7, 8, 9. Please continue with the next part of Lesson 2.